Firepower Threat Defense 6.2 Application Control FTP Upload, and we're going to block um, any upload. Now, I, I, I built this video specifically to follow up on the previous video that I created around custom signatures. I just want to make sure that people understand that you don't have to create a custom signature to do a file upload block with FTP. I, I did it specifically to show the power of... Um, uh, Firepower's custom IPS uh, capabilities, right? Where I can go in and build my own signatures and get very granular, obviously a very simple rule, but I just wanted to showcase that capability. So here we're going to show you how to do it using application control. So no signatures that you need to create. This is all built in based on application visibility and control. Um, so here I copied the previous rule. I am now um, going through and created an object for the FTP server in question where we're going to block uploads to. Um, we're going to modify the name, right, because we did copy this policy. And it's going to be an allow policy, um, but, but um, for uploads, um, the file policy is going to block. So let's uh, select the uh, application. So we select FTP here, um, and I'm going to show you in a little bit um, how intuitive the product is, right? And it's going to analyze what we're attempting to do and, and give us some direction. So we, we grab the application uh, FTP. We're making sure logging set uh, so we can see that it is working as expected and we're getting logs. We save this out. Um, but now we have to create that file policy. Now I could have created that fi file policy first. Um, I just happened to choose this uh, this direction. Um, so we'll give it a name. This is only going to be for FTP uploads uh, blocking. So a very specific policy for a very specific use case. We'll add a rule here. Um, we're going to select the application protocol of FTP and the direction of the transfer. So we're going to uh, obviously look at uploads. Um, and from here, we are going to block files. So we'll select file uh, types. In this case, it's all files. Um, we want to block from up being uploaded to the, the box itself. Now, you may have uh, within F your FTP server, you might already have a uh, uh, no uploads, um, for example. Um, in this case, what we're saying is, is that even before it gets to the server, we don't even want the attempt to happen. So now we go back to the access policy. We look at the entry here, and we're going to very quickly add that file policy. So quick and easy. Save this out. We'll save it. Oh, wait a minute. We see a warning. So you can click on the show warnings at the top here, or you just uh, go over top of the little triangle here, and it'll give you a little uh, a description. So it's telling you that in order for this to work, we need the FTP data side of it, right? Remember, there's FTP, the command channel, and then the, the, the data side. So let's add the FTP uh, data uh, portion. Right, so it doesn't make you go through testing. Why isn't it working? Uh, it realized that because of what you're trying to do, that you need that FTP data uh, application as well. So we'll quickly deploy this policy and then we'll get into testing. And again, no signatures, right? You didn't have to create a customized IPS signature to do application visibility control. This is all default based. Uh, configuration. All right, so here's the client. So let's grab that file and, and try to upload it. So I already know downloading works, right? Because I'm not blocking uh, downloading. Uh, but I just want to try to upload that file. And you can see that it does fail. So working as expected. Let's check the logs to make sure that we see that entry is blocked and the file name uh, corresponds. So we can see that uh, we do got a fi uh, file block um, or a block action, right? Um, which is file block. And we know it's FTP data. So we know what the protocol was. So let's drill into this particular event here. 
and we can see again you know the initiator ip the destination the protocols um, the applications the policies but let, let's quickly look at um, the file itself so we click that we can see that it is that file name that we tried to upload we know the type is msexe uh, if we view uh, files again you can see that block action but um, again if you drill in a little bit deeper you'll have very similar data as what you saw earlier um, where the block uh, shows the action the ips um, the file name right and the policy and that's it very simple and easy to do